So if you don't know how to get the uh, strut assembly off and get it down to this point, I have a previous video showing how to replace the uh, struts and springs for the 996. Uh, what I'm currently doing here is removing the bolt off the track arm link, and I also I'm going to use that impact to remove the nut off of the uh, lower uh, the ball joint off the lower control arm there. Um, I was hoping that that control arm would just fall off, but I wasn't lucky enough. I really had to do some work to get it to go. Well, I could not for the life of me get this ball joint out of there yet, so I took the control arm off the back there, and I'm going to try and uh, I'm going to try and get it to get some leverage on it to hammer it from this side. Maybe get that pickle fork in there and and get that separated or at the very least get some heat on it maybe that'll help but we are definitely not not doing so well yet this morning as far as the speed process goes this is not not going good so in this clip I tried to remove the ball joint with the pickle fork and that didn't work so what I had to do is remove that right tie rod end on the right side there and then I was able to separate just the wheel carrier and the control arm from the car completely. Okay, here's the wheel carrier and the lower control arm removed from the car. I want to say that when I did the right side, I didn't have to do this. A couple hits with the hammer on that ball joint and it fell right out. Unfortunately, this side I had to completely remove the wheel carrier and lower control arm just to get that lower control arm ball joint off. All right, so I did get the control arm off. And what I had to do was heat up this knuckle for a while and the bolt itself at the same time and I was hammering on it and I just couldn't get it to budge so I had to take it down to a friend's house and use the uh, heavy punch and heavy hammer and I hit on that a few times and I was able to to drive it out so now we're gonna put the wheel carrier and the rotor back in and I'll uh, Take this control arm off first, it's just kind of sitting there. Take that off and I will put it over right in there, set the bolt and just kind of let it uh, tighten it loosely. And then I'm going to put the uh, wheel carrier and rotor back in again. So, all right, stay tuned. I said I'm going to take the control arm here and install it. on loosely. I am going to attach whatever the hell that is. I don't even know. But it looks important, so we're going to attach it. Actually, I got back your camera. The camera out of the way here because I can't, can't get over to it. So those are both on there loosely right now. What I'm going to do now is insert the shock, or the strut anyways, into the uh, wheel carrier. And I had to put the old springs back on already because I was getting the wheel rub and I don't want to roll my fenders. So, so back with the old springs with still new shocks, new control arms.
So I will uh, move my jack out of the way so I can get this underneath the fender and then I'll jack it up into place. And that folded underneath there pretty nicely. Again, the arrows on the top of the strut mount, which I didn't just show. Well, there you go. Have to be facing out away from the car. Can you go in with them? So I'm going to show it, jacking it up into place and show you how easy this is. Or I should say easier. So I missed it, so I gotta go down a little bit. There I hit it. Now that jack's in place. Now I gotta put the three nuts back on up top here. And I always put the same three nuts because that's where you marked them at. So here's my mark here for where that strut is at. Um, can't see it that well, but it's right there. And then also over here, there's another one and there's another one back there. So I marked the nuts before I took those off. And that way I know exactly where my marks are back and I can get my alignment closer before I have to take this to the shop next week. I'm gonna kill off of this hole here. Off this. So now my hanger is free. And I know these pistons on this caliper probably closed a little bit, so I'm going to open them just a little bit. Uh, that's fine. Okay. That lines up. Okay, so I got my drop link back around and I pushed it through the back here where the, the strut has a connection for it. Put it through the wheel carrier and I've got it uh, somewhat threaded right now. And then I also got the caliper back on. I haven't just tightened that yet. This lower drop link you know, arm here connects to the sway bar. I gotta tighten that up. But all in, it's starting to come together now. This just slides in place here and clips against the strut itself. So you want to make sure you clip that in. And then there's a hanging line back here that you want to make sure that you... Uh... I busted the clip off when I took the shock off, but I'm just going to use a little twist tie to, um, or zip tie to put that back in place. Okay. Okay, so I got my lower control arm now in. And tight and you can see up underneath there right right there those black marks line up so I got that bolt in the same exact spot I've got my drop links back in but I still need to tighten them calipers on those top nuts up there were tightened and everything else is ready to go I uh, did jack it up and tighten those under tension so they should sit at the right height afterwards and not be so four-wheel drive-ish okay 